Rachel Gregory and welcome to the ISA keynote speaker series. Today I'm speaking with Nicola McCrabb, ICF Professional Certified Leadership Coach. Nicola, thank you for joining us. Great, it's lovely to be here. Thank you, Rachel. So Nicola, as a keynote speaker at the ISA conference, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm an executive leadership coach and I like to think that I get the technical stuff, but I really love the people stuff. So I've been working as a leadership coach now probably for 15 years and more recently in the area of resilience and mental health. Nicola, what skill or people Piece of knowledge would you determine as most valuable for a high-performing individual in today's competitive job market? Well, I think in today's competitive job market, it's really important for high performers to strive for excellence, but in a healthy way so that they can stay in the game and not burn out. And so as a leadership coach right now, I'm really busy with people that are overwhelmed and burnt out. And we have to remember that we're all human, even people that work in ISA. So healthy striving can be really contrasted with unhealthy striving. And what I mean by that is we're all a little bit of perfection is where we want to look, act and achieve perfection. And the reason why we do that really is because we want to avoid criticism, shame or judgment from others. So we're concerned about what other people think about us. So say for instance, you're in a new role or you take on a new project as a high performer and you start to struggle. Well, you might then get a little bit overwhelmed and uh, stressed. And I like to call it, you go off on a wobbler because it's like your head is bobbing around from side to side. And it's like you had this large cloud over your head and it's like you're stressed out and worried. What can happen then is we might procrastinate in order to self-protect. We might work more and then that has problems with work-life conflict. We might blame ourselves, blame someone else. And none of that is healthy. So a better way then, and that top skill is really to strive for excellence. We put our best foot forward, we try. And so as Thomas Watson said, who was a developer for IBM back in the days, he said to succeed, we need to double our failure rate. I think that will take us to one of the top skills that we need to strive to be healthy. What is the top takeaway that attendees will leave your session with? is really to get to net zero and net zero stress versus sustainability. So how we're going to do this in the session is by learning to manage your stressors better. You'll get a chance to see where you are in that continuum for burnout. Then look at some of the facts and the costs for burnout in our current environment. And we're going to have an actual activity where you will get a chance to really feel like what it feels like to be under stress so that you can identify the physical and emotional symptoms of stress. And the benefit of that is then that if you're in a situation where you are stressed, well then you can pause, relax, and choose a healthier habit. And that will take you to that net zero and sustainability in the long run. You'll also get a chance to maybe think about some of the stressors you've had over the last few years. What is the next trend that people should get on top of now? Learn to be more agile in really complex, ever-changing environment. It's been a tough go the last few years I mean, you know we're all trying to adjust and change and to try to figure out what the new normal is so we really need to learn to be agile and that means to be able to adapt and respond to changes in the world i suggest that everybody set time aside in their schedule regularly to just reflect and there's two parts of that really there's measurement and adjustment so measure you want to measure think about you know what are you noticing what are you hearing looking for the pattern but also within yourself you know you can measure am i more exhausted am i more cynical um, or irritable than normal am i taking longer to get work done or maybe not achieving that much or am i you know neglecting the very things that keep me healthy such as going to the gym and then what we can do is we can then make adjustments we can think about what we need to keep doing stop doing or start doing and i think that along with managing your stressors and getting better with that will really help you to be more agile in this complex world thank you nicola it was a pleasure chatting with you and we look forward to seeing you at the isa conference in may thank you so much i'm looking forward to it. thanks again and thank you for watching the isa keynote speaker series you can get 10 percent off your conference pass by using the code rachel 10 we'll see you there